Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft server. It is episode 124 and as you can see, we are starting things off today on the top of the nether for no apparent reason. In fact, I think I'm starting off the episode here where I ended the previous episode of Hermitcraft, which of course means that I have not done anything in between episodes. I don't generally do things in between episodes. I like to make sure that everything I do on Hermitcraft is caught on camera or at least caught between progress updates. If that makes any sense whatsoever but anyway to start things off today i am super super excited i don't know what it is but this morning i'm just i've woken up in one of those brilliant moods and nothing can bring me down i woke up this morning right and it turns out my cold water had run out now that's never happened to me before i mean cold water running out i've had my hot water run out of course if you spend too long in the shower then suddenly it gets really cold you know that that happens in fact that happens almost daily because i spend quite a long time in the shower but cold water running out it was really strange, it meant that I couldn't clean my teeth and we had to get the plumber around and everything like that. But even that it couldn't bring my mood down because I'm super excited. In a week's time, I am going to be going to Australia. Australia. Yes, Australia. It's one of my favourite places on earth. It's just an awesome country. In my opinion, Australia is like England but improved. It's like England but with nice weather. And that's like a very important thing because you know what us English are like, you know, we always complain about the weather and if we could have the Australian weather, oh boy, everyone would be 10 times happier. So I am so very excited. I'm going to be seeing family out there. I've got aunties and uncles out there, so I cannot wait. It's going to be awesome. They've been sending me messages for all the plans. I'm going to be climbing up Sydney Harbour Bridge, which I'm sort of scared of a little bit because I'm quite afraid of heights. But also, you know, my cousin just sent me a message saying, do you want to go canoeing in the mountains? And I was like... Yes, yes, of course I do. So hopefully, hopefully it's going to be awesome. And hopefully as well, I will be able to do some form of filming out there and basically show you my experiences. Because of course, I've got a GoPro now. I'm yet to use my GoPro because I overestimated how extreme I am. So hopefully I'll, I'll find a use for that one. But also just general sort of filming and showing you guys what I've been up to because I think that'll be good fun. But don't worry, videos won't be affected. They are all being scheduled and everything like that. Everything will roll out on time. But I am super, super excited for my Australian journey. But anyway, plan for today's episode, we are going to be working over in this area right here. And we are basically going to be cleaning everything up because, you know, look at this place, right? It just looks like a bit of a mess, especially because I've been chucking snow about and things like that. I feel like we need to sort this place out once again. So I'm going to be planting some trees. I'm going to be doing some decorating. I'm going to get myself an official bedroom. I know I've got my bedroom down in the base, but I never seem to use that thing. I guess it's like force of habit that the bed is up here. So I'm going to be putting that inside the mountainside and basically just having a little bit of fun in today's episode. But before we do any of that, I think the first thing that I've got to do is, unfortunately, I'm going to take out this. I'm definitely going to be removing that one because that's my birthday cake and that's been there for over a month. Am I going to take out the giant enderman? <sighs> It's so good. It's so good. I think I might keep it for a little while longer because I absolutely love this fella with his little scarf and everything like that. I think he could stay. So for the minute that this guy's going to be staying, but the birthday cake is definitely going to be removed. Thank you, TFC, for your well wishes, but I think it's time to move on. And here we are. We are almost done. Just a few more to go. I've got a little fan club underneath me as well, as you can see around here. Uh, I need to light up this place because this place is deadly. And I just realized this guy's got a glowing butt. Nice, that is looking good. But anyway, yeah, let's take out the rest of this one. And there we go. Almost, 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 almost. And there we go. Okay, so we have taken out the entire thing now. Get out of my face, Mr. Slime. There we go. So the birthday cake has now been removed. Once again, a big thank you to Tinfoil Chef for building that one because that was a really cool birthday present. That was a lovely birthday present. Really nice iron birthday cake. Yeah, my, my doctor said that I should get more iron in my diet. I don't know if that's what he meant, but there we go. Um, so anyway, moving on from that one, we have now cleared out that space. Obviously, we're leaving this guy around. We are now going to move over to this area right here and start work on some of the various different bits and pieces that we need to do. So I think the first thing that I want to do is I want to whack out the bone meal. I want to get the bone meal out and start doing some bone mealing once again because there used to be bone meal everywhere here and I don't really know what happened. Then we're going to plant some trees, get some growth, and then also do some building as well so it should be a fairly fun episode and we're definitely gonna have to get rid of these sorts of guys because they seem to be all over the place now I'm a little bit worried because we seem to have no bones in the sorting system up at the top there we have nothing in any of this um, oh this is not looking oh thank you Wow okay so we have got 
four stacks, four maybe five-ish stacks of bone meal in total. Ouch. That's that's not a, obviously that's going to be fine for today. We're not going to be using that much bone meal today. But seriously, we we need to work on that one because you know bone meal is a really really important thing. I use it in pretty much all my farms, and if we run dry on bone meal, then we're going to have some serious issues. So I think towards the end of today's episode, I'll have to do like an AFKing session because I have not I have not AFKed at that mob farm since I built it. I'll, I'll be totally honest with you guys. Uh, I did a one main AFK session for something like 12 hours. We got two double chests of everything, and then I've left it since. So I think <laughs> I think it's about time that I do another one. Okay, I think it's long overdue. So we'll do that towards the end of the episode. But for now, let's just do some planting. Okay. Everything is looking just a tiny bit prettier now. I've just taken out a bunch of my bone meal in there. Um, but everything's been like fully bone mealed around here, and it is looking. Well, I would say it looks better. I love bone. I love the look of like overgrowth and, and these really nice flowers. I love the color of these as well. It looks really, really good. Uh, I hate the swamp colors over here, like these dirty, disgusting colors. But these, these ones are okay. So next up, trees. I guess now I'm. I don't know if I want massive trees. I'm going to. I sort of want like a, a medium-sized tree. So we'll chuck that down there and give it a bit of a bone meal. And that's a good size. Disgusting color though, eh? That's not very nice. Um, we might have to go for spruce wood trees because that is... I hate that. I hate that color. It's absolutely horrible. So yeah, we're going to clear this one out and I'll get myself some spruce, some spruce saplings. Guys, I don't know what to think. I just don't know what to think. I mean, seriously, this thing, it's... Drive me a little bit around the bend because these look fully out of place. So I'm I'm starting to think that maybe Maybe we just can't have trees around here, which is really strange because I like trees Um, but it just doesn't look right. It really doesn't look right. And that is a floating tree by the way That that, that definitely doesn't look right, but these don't they just don't quite fit in So yeah, I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to clear this out and we're basically going to have to do some extra bone mealing Maybe I'll plant a few extra flowers and things like that and basically try my best to make it look a little bit nicer, add some extra paths and things like that in. But I'm a bit I'm a bit disappointed there. However, we're just going to move on. So, got a bit of progress for you guys. It's nothing too special. But as you can see right here, first off, I've got this wheat farm. Then I have taken out all of the torches and replaced them with these things. And I have to say, I don't know what's going on, but I just I'm not thrilled by this. It doesn't look particularly special. I, I'm not I'm not over the moon with it. Uh, what I imagined in my head is like Mumbo's World. Mumbo's World was just a tiny little thing. It was like 15 episodes long, this tiny little let's play. But I built a really cool little village and it had awesome like overhanging trees. Like the pathway looked almost exactly like this and the trees sort of overhung it and everything like that. It looked amazing. Or at least I thought it looked really, really good. Uh, I'll probably watch it back and be like, mm, that's pretty terrible. But it looked really good in my head, and that's what I wanted to create here. I wanted, like, trees overhanging the pathway and, and all this sort of thing. It's just not happening, is it? It's just not happening, uh, which is really, really frustrating because I had such a good idea for this one, but I think I'm just going to keep pushing on and just I'm going to keep working on it, perhaps place down some more fence posts and, and extra details in. Oh, just don't know, just don't know. <laughs> By the look of things, Exuma has got himself a rather interesting death machine. Uh, he's got a, a cactus based one. So, that's cool. I mean, that's that's a cool idea, actually. I hadn't thought of using cacti, but of course, I'm assuming that's a valid spawning space. Is it a valid spawn? I don't know. I, I honestly have no idea, but that that is smart. Okay, serious business has been going on. First off, I've replaced all of the fence posts with the oak wood fence posts. So, this looks far better than the spruce. I think the spruce was pretty boring. It was blending in with everything else and I didn't really like it that much. So now we have oak wood everywhere, including all of this area as well, which I think is looking pretty top notch. Also, I've added in some blocks over here to take off that hard edge because that just used to be a solid wall of dirt. So now it's looking a lot better, especially when that block there turns into grass, that'll be looking good. Then also I've added in this little pond right here and taken out a lot of the ponds in this location because they looked a little bit messy and a little bit rubbish. They sort of looked like they'd been Enderman griefed, which obviously they hadn't. So I decided to get rid of those. And then of course we're going to add bone meal in this location down at the bottom here. So now I'm finally starting to feel like everything is looking a tiny bit better. Like I'm feeling a lot more positive right now. So let's go grab some bone meal and do the rest of the work. So I've got some bad news because I'm a full on idiot. I put all my bone meal into the, oh, thank you. Thank you, right, okay, there we go. I actually managed to find it. 
I need to fix this. It's been so long. It needs to be done because otherwise I'm just going to go around the bend. You know what? I think I might have actually done it. I think I might have done it. It's been a couple of hours. I sort of went away. I went out for a little while. Came back. Obviously, I turned off the Hermitcraft server, so not a whole lot has changed. But I think I've actually done it. You know what, guys? I think I have achieved the look. I think I've actually achieved something here. This is looking good. I'll take out that one. That was a bit in your face. Maybe that one there should be too high. But that, that, this is looking, this is actually looking good. I'm really, really happy. Uh, we've got that area there. That now looks a lot neater. And as you can see, I've added in like a handful of spruce trees. Not too many. I haven't gone overboard. I haven't gone over the top with them. I've just added a couple in. We replaced the tree that was originally there. That was one of those ugly trees. That now looks better. Then we've got this one here. And obviously this one over here, you guys can see that. You do have eyes. If you don't, I, I do apologize. Um, but yeah, I think this looks good. This is looking good. My pond's looking nice. Of course, we can add in some lily pads and things. In fact, I've got a few of those on me. So I'll chuck one or two of those down. There we go. That's looking a lot better. Is there anything else that I want to do? Not not particularly. I think take out this snow here. I think that's probably a good snap because that doesn't doesn't really fit in. But yeah, I'm I'm chuffed. I'm actually chuffed. Which for those of you across the pond who don't know what chuffed means, it means really happy. <laughs> uh, there's been a few confused comments to when I say chuffed. Chuffed means you're really happy. So I'm yeah I, I'm dead pleased with this. I think this is looking great. Awesome. Okay, so we've actually managed to neaten up this upper area here. Of course, this place isn't looking so good. I can try my best to mo bone meal it, but I mean, there's there's no fixing that. Do you ever get the feeling that someone's just behind your shoulder? <laughs> I just got that feeling. Um, but yeah, there's no fixing this area here because it's a really ugly color. But out the front, definitely, this is looking absolutely lovely. So I think I'm finished with the exterior section. Now it's time to actually start work on our little bedroom area. Now, I'll be honest, guys, I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to be doing in terms of a design for this place, but I do have an idea of what I want in here. So we're going to have a bed, and we're also going to be building a bed alarm. Now, this is something that I will explain later on. I have done a redstone tutorial on this one, and I was reminded of it because, yeah, well, I'm not gonna give that away because it's a little bit of a secret, but basically, it's a really, really awesome redstone contraption that I created when Minecraft 1.5 was first released, the redstone update, and it's epic, and I don't know why I haven't used it since, because it's probably one of my smartest redstone contraptions, so it's definitely something that I want to put to good use, and am I going to break through if I take out those blocks? Yes, by the look of things, I am. So this is going to have to be inset a little bit. It's going to be like a decent-sized room, nothing too massive, so yeah, I'm just going to keep mining. Okay, so a room has been cleared, and in that time, I've sort of been thinking about how I want the whole thing to look, and I'll be honest with you, I'm going to be sticking to a fairly familiar theme here. We're going to be sticking with the sort of theme that I was going to be using in the snow, the snow farm area that I had in the area of my base over there. I really don't know how, know how to explain this, um, but it's basically just going to be sort of birch wood, not birch wood, uh, spruce wood in the corners like that, and then we're just going to have white stained clay. I just think this is a really nice combo. I think it looks lovely, it looks really like homely, and I suppose that's sort of what we're going for here, because this is meant to be the house section of my base. That looks lovely, doesn't it? That, that looks like the kind of place that I'd really like to stay. And then as far as like the floor is concerned, I'll probably go for maybe spruce wood planks. Going across the bottom there. I'm just trying to get a feel for the block combinations and things. And then maybe... Just maybe some stone slabs. I mean, these are the only resources that I brought along, so this was my original idea, but the stone slabs in set like that. I wasn't planning on doing them in set, um, but in the set like that, I think looks really cool. And then we'll have like a raised platform for the bed. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that idea there. So the same thing will be going on in the ceiling. Now, of course, that's gonna cause a slight problem because all of that, all of that is surface grass. I'm sure we can sort that out. I'll have to do some terraforming. But yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking this will look good. I hope that you guys think this looks good as well. I know it's not a particularly adventurous theme because I've done things like this similar in the past, but I'm sticking with what I know and I know that this looks okay. Okay, decoration wise, I think I am nearing completion and bosh. Okay, so there we go. There's my little for some reason, that just reminded me of Shrek. I don't know why this little thing has reminded me of Shrek here. But yeah, this this is my tiny little bedroom. Uh, it's nothing too thrilling or anything like that. 
But I'm, I'm really happy with that, actually. It's really nice and warm and snug, and we've got these nice torches on the outside. One thing that I will say is, is that we need to do a little bit of terraforming. So I think, you know, maybe some extra dirt is needed here. And basically, we need to sort of beef up the area around this thing, I suppose. So just a little bit extra dirt around there. That was... That was strange. I, I've never seen that one before. But also, I need to cover up all of the blocks up at the top here because, as you can see, we broke through onto the surface. So I'll quickly grab a little bit more dirt here. But other than that, this looks good. I'm actually I'm pretty chuffed with how everything's ended up looking. I don't know why I keep saying chuffed today. Uh, I think it's my word of choice today. It's just a great word. Say it yourselves, okay? If you're sat at home, say the word chuffed. It's a it's a great word to say. Um, but yeah, I think I think that is. That's everything. Yeah, that's everything. That looks great. That looks really, really lovely. So I suppose we can take out this bed here now. I'm going to leave the ender chest there, partly because I don't have a silk touch pickaxe, but also because it's really useful. But I will have to add an ender chest inside here. But there we go. That is the actual design of the room. Now it's time to link up this redstone lamp so that it only turns on when you are able to sleep. Exactly when you're able to sleep. There's no margin of error here. As soon as that lamp turns on, you're able to sleep. If that lamp isn't on, you're not able to sleep. Such a cool contraption. So I'm just in the process of watching back one of my very old tutorials. This is from 2013, and of course it's for the bedtime alert thing. Just listen how different I sound, you ready? As you can see, I'm holding down the right click button, so I should be getting into the bed, and I will only be able to get in there once that light turns on, which should be about now. So there I sound very strange. I don't know how to explain that, it's like a well, obviously, my voice is a little bit higher. I did have a cold while recording this one. But just, like, listen to, like, the yeah, first bit. Yeah, it should be gone within one or two videos. But if you're anything like me, you want to... It's like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's strange. It feels strange watching back videos. Uh, maybe in, like, two or three years' time, I'll watch these videos that I'm recording right now going, what on earth did I sound like then? But, yeah, that was a, that was a bit of a shock to me. I, I haven't watched one of my old videos for a very long time now. Okay, so everything has been constructed. I managed to follow my slightly strange tutorial that I did back in the day. But the way that it works is really quite smart. Basically, we've got this daylight sensor right here. Of course, this is the daylight sensor. It tells us what time of day it is. But then we have this furnace right here with a comparator running into the comparator coming from the daylight sensor. And this means that this comparator will only give an output when this input to the comparator is stronger than this input into the comparator. So when that happens, then of course it will unpower this redstone torch, which will power this redstone torch, which will unpower our little hopper timer out the back, and that has got seven items in it, which will give a tiny bit of delay before turning on the redstone lamp down at the bottom here, which will make it so that exactly, exactly when that lamp comes on, you are able to sleep in the bed. So it's basically just uh, a few timing circuits and a few different setups and things but it works really, really nicely, and I'm really proud of my old redstone design, even if, you know, the tutorial wasn't particularly brilliant, and it was a little bit sort of, I don't know, it was a bit of a strange video, a bit of a rubbish video, it's still, it's still good, I I'm pretty happy with it. So there we go, we can now cover all of that up, I think we should probably try our best to make this look a tiny bit more pretty, because otherwise, you know, that's going to look pretty ugly down there, so we'll cover all of that up, and maybe, yeah, I guess... That'll do. I mean, dirt wouldn't have been my block of choice, and I've just fallen down there as well. But, yeah, now I just have to cover it up, put some glass in, make sure that we don't fall down there again, and that should be everything done. So, as you can see, the light is currently on because we are able to sleep. As soon as we hop out of this thing, then the light will be switched off, hopefully, if everything goes correctly. So, let's see. We are now sleeping, and then we get out of the bed, and there'll be like a tiny bit of delay. But yes, okay, so that looks like it's working. Of course, the only way that we're going to know if this is actually working is if we wait for another day to come round, and we try our best to sleep exactly at the time. But to be honest with you, that seems like quite a lot of effort. So I'm just going to say that this is working 100%. Also, another thing is, I've covered this thing up now. I used a hopper just because that looks a lot better. And hoppers are, in fact, fully transparent blocks, in case you, you weren't aware of that one. So there we go. There is my little bedroom completed which is lovely. I'm very, very happy with that one. Now it is time to complete that almighty AFK session that I've been meaning to do for a very long time. Now, first off, we'll get rid of this guy, and then we'll head right the way up to the top, right to the very top of the world, and we will do a little bit of AFK. So it's just occurred to me that there's going to be a large number of you that have no idea about this thing, so I, I might as well take you up there. We'll flick the lever, we'll say that we're going up to the AFK, because this is a two-floor elevator. It's quite a smart little design. 
and let's go. Now this uses my own slime block elevator design, which is slow, but it is symmetrical, which is something that was very important because of course all of the redstone for this one was going to be exposed. I wanted to make sure that it was going to be symmetrical, so that's why I used this one instead of the woolly creeper one. But here we go, up we pop to the top here, and I'm just noticing that I think I have a feeling my mob spawner is actually turned off. I feel like the mob spawner is turned off. <laughs> Let me just look down there. Yeah, definitely turned off. Ah, oh, all right. Okay, so I've got to hop all the way back down to the bottom. I've then got to go to the AFK platform, then go down to the bottom once again, and then right the way back up to the top. Okay, that can be done. Now, it feels like there's definitely a few problems with the mob spawner, so I'm going to try and navigate my way around. It's always very, very nerve-wracking doing this. Uh, I'll be I'll be real with you here. Okay. Uh, let's just try our best to not die. I think that's going to be my goal here. Let's look inside. Oh, blimey! Okay, well, the mob spawner's... <laughs> I'm trying to avoid a creeper catastrophe. It doesn't look like there's much water going on. There's a lot of mobs in here. Blimey, O'Reilly. But no... No real action. Let's flick the lever again and see if I've completely messed up uh, what I thought it was. It might be the complete opposite way around. You might have to turn it on. So if I flick the lever here then that will actually turn the mechanism on, maybe? But it doesn't look like much is happening, so maybe our hopper timer's broken. Uh, that could be the case. I'm not seeing any pulsing happening here, though. No, not really. Is this, like, fully broken? I mean, that's, that's turned it off. Oh, oh, we got some action. So apparently, my hopper timer was broken. That's something that I haven't seen. Yeah, there we go. I mean, there's a certainly a level that we need to do some maintenance here because this is definitely a little bit balked. <laughs> um, it's definitely a little bit balked. But... Okay, it's, it's now back up and running, so we'll quickly uh, flick the lever off once again and hope for the best. Hope for the best that everything is going to continue working as expected, but I've, I've never really seen that one before, so um, fingers crossed. Okay, everything's looking good. Everything is looking good, so now we can launch ourselves down to the bottom, then go right the way up to the top. That is the AFK platform. Now, the reason that you use an AFK platform is quite simply because, obviously, if you stand down at the bottom here, you're loading all of the area down underneath you, which is, is fine. You know, that's absolutely fine. But of course, there's loads of caves down there. There's loads of potential mob spawning spaces. Of course, mobs can spawn all over the land as well. Whereas if you stand right the way up at the top, all of the caves down at the bottom get unloaded. All of the floor gets unloaded. The only place that mobs can spawn is inside your mob spawner, which makes it super efficient. Would be more efficient if I hadn't left a massive hole... Let's hop out. That was very close. I almost killed myself then, and I've just broken my minecart elevator, which wasn't smart of me. Um, but it seemed like a good idea at the time. Uh, yeah, let's just fill in that hole real quick. Am I ever? Am I ever going to be able to AFK at this place? I have no idea. Finally, I feel like I have got everything done. Everything's looking. Are you serious? There's still a hole. Oh well, I. Uh... I did fill in the I just went up there and filled in the hole, but oh well, it looks like it's going to be efficient anyway. I mean, seriously, we're going to be AFK in here for a very long time indeed. Let's hope we actually make it up to the top. And yeah, this should be... This should be the zone. Let's just look down there. That's off. That's good. And we are now at Y equals... 238, so we're pretty high up in the sky. Obviously, we've got amplified terrain on, which means that this isn't as efficient as it possibly could be because, of course, amplified terrain goes right the way up into the sky. But I'd say it's good enough for me. So everything's looking good here. Now it's time to wait this one out. I'm going to AFK here for absolutely ages and hope, fingers crossed, 
that we get ourselves a ton of mob drops because otherwise I'll be a little bit arse. Okay, so I've been AFK for a little while now and by a little while I mean a very long while indeed. I was up at the top there for absolutely ages. In fact, I AFK'd up there for the entire day and then during the night I AFK'd and Tango had some fun with me as well and you'll be seeing that in an upcoming Hermitcraft episode because that was absolutely hilarious. But for those of you who caught his live stream, congratulations, you have seen what has been built and I bet you guys can't wait to see me try and solve that thing. But anyway, here goes, we're about to take a look at the item drops right here. Now, I must admit, I've already taken a look in these chests, and I'm very, very surprised. I'm completely blown away by how efficient this farm has been, because I would say I've been AFK for probably about maybe 15 hours. I'd say 15 hours is a pretty good estimate there, maybe 18 hours, maybe. And as you can see, we have got one, two, three, four, five, six. Almost six double chests of items there. Six double chests. And if we take a look, look, we've got bones for days. Bones going right the way up to the sky. We have got arrows. I mean, can you imagine the artillery that we could create? <laughs> we could go to town with the arrows there. We have got obviously tons of rotten flesh. I mean, I don't think we're ever going to run out of rotten flesh. I think that goes right the way up to the ceiling. So that's pretty good. We've got loads and loads of strings. We can make loads and loads of wool. And yeah, in fact, Forget what I just said, we've got six double chests on this side, and six double chests on this side as well, which is 12 double chests! Good grief, it goes even higher, this side, this side is seven, oh no. Oh, oh. Oh, I so didn't think of it, oh no. Oh no, this is a, this is a stack protected one, right? Who knows? I, I I don't know why there are different types of items in there. Let's take a look in this chest here. No, we don't have that same problem. But anyway, <laughs> ignoring all of that, okay, we're just going to completely ignore the fact that, by the look of things, my sorter might be having some problems, and concentrate on the fact that I have now got enough bones to make, like, a million skeletons. Okay, I've got enough bones to just create an entire graveyard. And also, I've got just enough resources, really, to do whatever I want. So I am really, really happy that we decided to do that. That was my first AFK session for about 100 episodes. And by the look of things, I'm not going to need another AFK session for about another 100 episodes. So that is happy days as far as I'm concerned. I think that's pretty cool. So, um, yeah, there we go. That is it. That is it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.